So here's the Nexus One, another example of this piece of technology that fails the power button. You can see it doesn't do any goddamn thing. You can turn it on, try to turn it on a million times and it wouldn't, wouldn't do anything. You can remove the battery and then plug it in back in. And as you can see, it doesn't do anything. So the problem in this phone may be more than one thing, but um, the power button for sure isn't working. And that is uh, possibly uh, some board that you have to replace altogether, which brings a new power switch and a flexible cable and a bunch of other things like the camera, uh, socket and and the and the flashlight uh, as well. So I'm gonna try to fix this thing. I'm gonna try to see if I can repair the actual board that uh, has the switch. So I have never done this. There's plenty of information about how to open this phone. So I'm gonna try to to use some tools that I got to open it and see if I can fix it. So let's try that. Alright, so the first thing you want to do if you want to go ahead and open it, kind of a, a device like this, which probably has many parts, is every time you take screws out of it, it's better to, it's a good idea actually to make a drawing of approximate location of the where the screws were. And uh, we're going to use some tape to hold the screws on a drawing, so when we need to reassemble things we remember uh, the where the screws go. So the first thing to do is is to remove the battery. We're gonna just take the battery off, easy, and then we're gonna do the following. We're gonna remove the SIM card, and after that, we're gonna remove the SD, the micro SD card, out of the the unit. So we keep those aside. We won't need them for the both kinds of star-shaped screw. This is called T5. The size is uh, is uh, is said in there. It's a T5 torque uh, screwdriver, and we also need a Phillips screwdriver. This one is like the cross shape. The other thing is handy to have is a piece of uh, a, a pair of tweezers to handle the little screws and other parts. And these are actually plastic tools that are used instead of your, using your nails to open up parts, like uh, to remove parts out of your phone. So here we go, we start with this thing. So after removing the, the micro SD, the, the SIM card and the battery, we're gonna remove all this black part here. And underneath of the there is the, the part that presumably is failing in this phone. There may be more than one thing, of course. So there are two screws here. One that says void here. That it means that if you scratch that screw, you lose the warranty. I have already done that. So it's this, this warranty has already, it's, it's already void. So I, you can only see three screws here. One here, which is Phillips type, and here and here, which are the star-shaped screws. So we're going to go ahead and remove all these screws, but first we're going to make a little drawing of the location of those screws. So basically all you do is just take your phone and make a little contour of it, something like this, and then you can just do, draw the this little part like this, and then here you get a T5 screw, another T5 screw. And here there is a Phillips screw, and then here is the the this shape of the compartment that we're gonna try to work on. And here are the volume controls. With this, we already know the orientation where each screw is, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the the first one. Is this star-shaped screw? We're gonna remove and we place it there. 
and we tape it with a little bit of tape. And we're going to name this page number one, first page on the disassembly procedure. And then the other torques or star shaped screw is right here. We take it out. If it doesn't come out, we grab it with the pliers like this. And we're going to put it right there in the mark the way we we're going to tape the, the screw there so we don't lose it. Okay, done with the torque screw or star shaped screwdriver. Now we're going to switch to the Phillips screwdriver. We're going to remove this screw there, take it out, place it there. So this way you don't have to worry about where did this screw go and things like that. You have to worry about where the tape end is. But uh, that's presumably an easier problem. Here we go. So, after that, with this part, we're going to move on to remove uh, this, all this black part here. So, um, that part is only coming off, according to what I have read and what I have seen, just comes off by praying like this. So, you just take your your phone and gently remove some lashes that hold this part in place in here on this side and also here you can do that because it's a volume control so there's lashes right here so you have to do like that Have to do is this uh, gently so we don't break the the actual plastic and then uh, slowly you will just so we continue with this this assembly so we were just using this kind of sharp tools plastic tools we just force the lashes out and then and then we we gently open this, they, we have to make sure that there is no connection here that we're going to break by doing this. So, in doing so, the speaker, which is right here, may come off or the power button may come off. They're just held very, very weakly to this. So, we're going to just gently pull like this, making this kind of motion until this battery tray comes off. And then here's the, the speaker and uh, here's the power button but the switch is here in this board right here which actually comes off together with this flex cable and part that uh, keeps going in this direction so we're gonna have to disassemble probably we're gonna have to remove this part so at this stage we can see that um, that um, uh, there is here is the actual switch this is actually the tiny switch the button there if you try to power the phone now, if you just attempt to put the battery in here and then pretend to switch it on, like pressing the power switch, it won't turn on because there are uh, some connections here that are broken by removing this. These two contacts here, or these two contacts here, are actually connected through the part that we just take out, through this um, piece of um, golden metal foil and this connects this one this is in place so right now I'm not going to attempt to short these these pins and put the battery because I'm not sure that can do a damage to the unit so we just uh, uh, continue to remove this and try to remove this board and see if we can ask, uh, if we can see if there is any any damage that is uh, visible on the flexible cable here that connects the switch to this board and see if we can uh, maybe bridge these connections and make it make it work otherwise I'm gonna have to replace this unit this uh, board here which uh, the camera is here and this is an audio output here's the LED that is a flash so uh, all these parts are containing this board it's called the logic board I believe and it contains also the um, this flex connection that connects to the other parts there. So I'm gonna have to take a look at how this is uh, disassembled because I can't uh, 
remember everything but uh, here we can see some screws right away right here there is a Phillips screw that we're gonna have to remove there's a connector here that we're gonna have to disconnect but I'm not sure how it is disconnected and I believe that uh, I'm gonna have to remove this and then the entire flexible black part with the squares here comes 